Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Young Sutton and it is New Year's Eve, so this is the last video of 2022. Now today I'm going to share an easy two-card personality and character description spread. What's the difference between those two, you may be asking? Well, a person's character reveals what's inside of them. It's who they really are and it's unlikely to change. It's composed of, of one's emotions and their attitudes and beliefs and morals. Uh, those things that motivate them and govern their actions. Now, their, their personality is what they show to the world or the way they act in various situations based on their character, right? We could say that personality is a reflection of one's character or a result of one's character. Character is who they really are and personality is who they appear to be. All right. Now, you only need two cards for this if you're using a system such as Tarot or the Grand Jeu Lenormand um, or Oracle cards. Uh, but if you're using the Petit Lenormand, you want to draw uh, two cards for, for each uh, position. Okay? Now, the process is very simple. So, you're going to select a card to represent the person you want to describe and lay it down. Right? Now, for Tarot... Um, did I tell you what I'm using here? I'm using Anna Kay's Lenormand for this example. All right. Um, for tarot, you, you're probably going to use a court card, right? That represents whatever you know about the person, uh, probably based on physical characteristics. All right. You then draw two cards with the intention that the card to the left will describe their character. Hang on, I already pulled out um, the lady card for the example. Um, yeah, so you, you just, you're only going to need to um, to draw two cards, like I said, for Tarot and Grand Jeu and Oracle, but for the Petit Lenormand, we're going to put two in each side. Um, and you just have to remember, you have to set your intention that the cards to the left will describe their character and to the right will describe their personality. So what I did um, when I drew the Grand Jeu cards that I'm going to show you in a minute is I labeled. I labeled the sides so I wouldn't get mixed up because, you know, I do. All right. Okay. Now, I think it's important to get clear on what each side means. You know, like, make sure you really understand what, what character traits are and what personality traits are before you draw the cards. Um, so let's see what we get. Okay, whoops. I don't want to knock my don't want to knock my camera. All right. So first card for personality is the garden. And then the second card is the fish. And then for personality, I got the key and the Oh, good, the man. I'm glad that came up because that, that's going to be a good one to explain how to use for this, for this spread. Okay, can you see those okay? There we go. All right, so we got character over here. We got personality over here. Okay, now remember that this is not a narrative reading. This is not a story of a woman who was playing the field and now found her true love. Um, you're going to be interpreting these cards descriptively. And if you've never used the Petit Lenormand in this way, um, I will link my blog on personality and character traits for the Petit Lenormand in the description box below. So check that out. And of course, you'll find uh, descriptive terms in my first book, the Petit Lenormand Oracle. All right. Okay, so what can we say about this woman's character? Remember, that's what's down inside of her, what she may not be showing to the world. So I would say that she is motivated by what's popular, right? She doesn't want to swim against the tide. She values quantity over quality. Because I'm looking over here and I'm seeing like the key is qu uh, quality and, and this is uh, the fish's qu quantity, right? Um, yeah, she wants to be part of the group, right? She places um, a lot of 
importance on material possessions and outward appearances. Fish and garden. It looks like she wants to step out in style and get noticed. I think she's, um, she's got a deep-seated need to appear affluent to others. All right. Um, and it looks like she's, she's very sensitive to others' opinions of, of her. All right. So I would say that that's her character. Uh, for her personality, she, she displays an air of importance. That's the key, right, to the, to the world. And wants others to see her as rational and logical. Okay, the man card. You're going to use masculine traits for this. She may act assertively and appear to be competitive, right? She's seen as a leader. These are all masculine traits. She's seen as a leader, even though down inside, she's more of a follower, right? In so many ways, the fish is the opposite of, of man when it comes to character and personality traits. Um, okay, so there you have it, fast and easy, right? Okay, now I wanna show you the Grand Jeu cards that I that I drew because that's kind of what led me to make this video. And I just drew these this morning. All right, so. Um, make sure you can see this. Move my candy. Okay. Right. Okay, there we have it. Character, personality. All right. Now, a friend of mine is wondering about the new guy at work. She says he's very quiet and he's hard to read. She just can't, uh, you know, read him. She can't get a handle on, on this guy, what he's all about, right? So I laid the man in the center. And then for character, I drew the three of hearts. And for personality, I drew the queen of diamonds, right? And this was cool that I got a, uh, a court card for this because that gives me even more information on, on uh, personality. All right, now, you could also uh, use, for the ground shoe, you can lay two cards on either side. In which case, you interpret the entire card touching the significator with, with an emphasis though on the small image, image that touches that center card. Um, but for the outer two cards, you primarily interpret the small um, face, you know, facing image, right? The small image that, that faces the center. Um, but as I always say with these cards, you, you want to understand the entire card, which will give you a deeper understanding of the small images, okay? So this man's character shows that he sees himself as a genius. This is his attitude and what, what motivates him. He tends to see others as being beneath him. Now, now that's this small image here. Um, he feels they should bow down to his brilliance. He believes himself to be inventive and intellectual. He's analytical and left brain dominant, right? Now, how would I describe his personality? This is what he shows to the world, right? It, and he's showing that he's ambitious and career-minded. That's from the Queen of Diamonds, okay? He's, uh, he appears to be successful and professional and energetic and creative. One who would most likely be hired to manage a business or, or one that another would want to partner with um, in a business. Others will see him as successful and a formidable opponent. Now that all came from the Queen of Diamonds, right? He also, oh, he may also come off as being bossy and authoritative. Again, Queen of Diamonds, right? But from this main image combined with this small image here, we can see another side of him, and it's a dangerous side that you don't want to cross. This is saying that he is prone to disagreements and starting conflicts. He's jealous, and he thinks others are talking behind his back. Um, he'll betray you. 
he'll betray your trust, right? If, if he thinks it will help him to get ahead. And if he feels you have wronged him, he'll do whatever it takes to get revenge. I mean, notice that this, this snake said, I don't care if these little bird, baby birds are way up in the tree. I'm going to find a way to get up into that tree and get them. Yeah. So, yeah, in my opinion, this is a big red flag here. <laughs> All right. So if you have a Grand Jou deck, give this a try or use your Petit Lenormand or Tarot or give it a go with Oracle cards. Now I wanted to show you this deck. All right. This, I don't even know what you call these kind of, this kind of a deck. It's like a, they're called interactive cards. I, yeah, it's like a, a personality deck. So I imagine it's um, used by counselors and therapists and psychologists and all that fun stuff. But it's a really fun deck and it makes an excellent oracle card deck. Where is it? Here it is. Right? So you know what? Here, let me leave the guy in the middle here. Let me just pull two cards off the top. All right, here we go. All right, so. Okay, so using these cards, um, I would say that his character, right? Down inside, this is a vulnerable person he, he, who feels small and maybe naive and wants to be nurtured and looked after. Like he may have a deep-seated fear of being abandoned, right? Does not look like, oh, look at that poor baby. Um, but, now this is his personality, right? This is what he shows the world. He appears to the outside world to be adventurous and independent, okay? Quite the opposites, aren't they? <laughs> Wow. All right, everybody. I want you to have fun with this. Um, try it on your dog or your cat or ask the cards about yourself. You may be shocked at what you see. So that's it for today's video. Um, as I said, it's New Year's Eve, the last day of 2022. So have fun tonight and stay safe. And um, I don't know about you, but I am ready for 2023. Bring it on. And may it be the best year yet for us all. Keep playing with those cards, everybody. Bye-bye.